you don't play, you don't play. Mark, I have another follow-up question for that. Is is Twitter the, the proper platform or is it conducive for spreading accurate information when it comes to the news? Because you have to think about character limitations for one. That's one thing that I've identified. It robs you of context because you can't pack with so much information. And when it comes to having uh, excuse me, threads of information, threads of tweets, then you always know how like the, the top one is the one who get, that gets the most attention. Yeah. And that could be the one that has the most vague portion of a story. But then like the subsequent details, you could actually post that and clarify things and add information as it comes in. But the more and more removed you are, the less attention it gets. And so that that robs people of, I guess, uh, like additional context and it leads to ambiguity. Definitely. And the thing is, when I was on Twitter, there wasn't threads. So you could just imagine like a whole bunch. The way a Twitter feed used to look is similar to what it would look now. But you'd have a thread posted, which was tweet by tweet. And then you have a whole bunch of retweets. So you'd have to you have to cipher through all these retweets and all of these responses just to get to the actual, you know, bundle of tweets. And by that point, you don't even want to know anymore. Or <laughs> by that point, you're just by that point, you're just reading what somebody quoted, like as a response, you know, how on Twitter, you can quote, mm -hmm. quote, a retweet, like you're just looking at that. And you're just taking the piece of the information like Twitter is so hard to one because I think as a society we really don't read a lot. Like I think we read, but we don't we don't consciously put forth the effort to understand what we're reading. Like a lot of us do, but I think a lot of people they just read something and then they, you know, they either try and interpret it in their own means or they don't understand it and just keep it moving. And then oftentimes we we'll regurgitate that information later, but not be able to expand on it at all. Also, I feel like Twitter is very reactionary too. Like people are more interested in what garners a, a, a certain response or being combative as opposed to actually understanding and, and getting towards solutions. 